Beloved Masters, we have given this information in the past. However, we must refresh your memory so that you'll understand how the preparation of the past have led to the stage and evolutionary process that you are currently experiencing. In the late 1800s, as the influence of the Age of Pisces and the Sixth Ray were giving way to the Age of Aquarius, the Seventh Ray of Freedom, Purification, and the Violet Flame of Transformation, under the direction of the beloved Archangels Zadkiel and Lady Amethyst, our Father Mother God received a tremendous infusion of adamantian particles of light from the Supreme Creator. The time had come to begin to radiate the love life force of creation out into the universe into a greater measure. The earth and humanity were gradually exposed to higher and higher frequencies of greater light. However, as the refined light penetrated to earth and the hearts of humanity, chaos reigned on the planet. Just as the world and its inhabitants are presently experiencing, there were world wars, a devastating world pandemic, unheard of atrocities, extremely destructive weather patterns, and a world financial depression which caused great suffering among the masses. There was a rebellion among the younger generation, and traditions that had been adhered to for thousands of years were modified or totally disregarded. Life-changing events, inventions, and revolutionary thinking changed the world dramatically, as the light of new creation permeated the earth and the auric fields of humanity. In the mid-1980s, it was determined that humanity and the earth had been exposed to as much of the refined frequencies of God light as they could incorporate without creating greater chaos and suffering. During that time, many blessed star seeds began the awakening process and were experienced in divine discontent, for they were in the midst of a soul merge and their higher selves were actively nudging, encouraging, and inspiring them onto the path of ascension. Much has been written about the harmonic convergence which took place in August 1987, and much occurred during that cosmic event. However, one of the most important occurrences was that the crystalline grid system was reactivated so that ascending humanity could begin to infuse this grid with the refined light of creation called adamantian particles. There is a seed atom of God consciousness stored within every person's diamond core God cell, and a life-changing awakening takes place when a person reaches a certain level of balance and harmony within his or her four lower bodily systems, physical, mental, emotional, and etheric. From that time forward, the higher frequencies of creator light were directed to and through the awakening star seed, instead of in a blanket effect all over the world. That is why we have called you sentinels of light, pillars of light, transformers, and transducers of light. During that time, a few brave advanced souls, those whom we call the vanguard, began to connect with their guides, spiritual teachers, ascended masters, and occasionally the angelic realm. Each soul had to go through an intense clearing and training process. However, many stayed the course and became clear channels of the advanced wisdom teachings, which were so important for those who were striving for spiritual adulthood and self-mastery. The masses continued to awaken in astounding numbers as the infusion of love light from the Supreme Creator, via our Father Mother God, and the great Archangel Metatron, was stepped down or transduced to an acceptable level by the human light bearers, so it could be safely dispersed to the earth and humanity. During these times of great change, the attributes, qualities, and virtues of the Seventh Ray which contains the violet light of transformation, are being beamed down from the celestial amethyst hall of archangels Zadkiel and Lady Amethyst in greater and greater measure. The angels of the violet flame are actively radiating the flame of transformation to the earth and directly into the force field of anyone who invokes the violet flame for the greater good. The years 1991 and 1992 were years of phenomenal transformation for both the earth and humanity. The violet flame penetrated the auric field of the earth and transmuted a great portion of the negative energy frequency patterns so that Gaia could integrate enough creator light to begin to vibrate at a mid-fourth dimensional frequency level, thus allowing her to gradually move into the proper orbit in preparation for her eventual ascension through the upper planes of the fourth dimension into the fifth dimension. There have been many interpretations as to what the doorway of 1111 meant, or an event which occurred between July 11, 1991 and January 11, 1992. The numbers 1111 could be interpreted to represent passageways of some kind, and this would be a correct assumption. In the first half of the 20th century, the membrane of light that composed the quarantine or the ring past knot was completely dissolved, and much of the effluvia negative energy of the astral planes have been transmuted and requalified. Once more, humanity was given access to cosmic information and could interact and commune with the beings of the higher realm. 
As more and more blessed souls healed and transmuted their negative vibrational patterns, their energetic signature began to resonate with the harmonic frequencies of the higher sublevels of the fourth dimension, and thereafter their lives began to change dramatically. Millions moved off the wheel of karma and into the state of grace, and they began to earnestly seek and follow the path of enlightenment. This was also a time when many of those who had agreed to be messengers for a spiritual hierarchy were called forth to fulfill their divine earthly mission. It was during that time, January 11, 1992, in fact, that I first contacted my beloved messenger, known in this lifetime as Rana Herman. We have been constant companions since that time, and she has steadfastly devoted her life to her spiritual mission. She, like many other dedicated souls around the world, has been an inspiration and a shining example to humanity. Every year since the first 1111 doorway was opened, a special 1111 passageway is again opened briefly, so that the ascended masters and beings of light can make contact with those who have attained the required level of harmonic frequency patterns, so that they may begin to communicate with their guides, teachers, and angelic friends, and possibly become messengers of light. We know this has happened recently to many of you who read our messages, and we wish to ease your mind and assist you to understand that what is happening and what is being asked of you. It is a wondrous gift, beloveds, and there is nothing to fear, for you are reclaiming a part of your natural state of being. Communing with the beings of light is a great evolutionary step for you as human beings, for it quickly facilitates a new conscious awareness and a powerful transformation within you. Most likely, you will first connect with and learn to interact, communicate with your personal guides, or sometimes your master teacher will quickly establish a relationship with you, especially if you make an agreement to work with that particular being before incarnating in this lifetime. Never before have you had such an opportunity to serve humanity and the Creator. You are at a crossroads in your evolutionary process, for the world as you have known it is slowly fading away. As divine sparks of the Creator, you were given a great gift, a treasure chest of Creator essence to use in any way you desired. You began this lifetime with a portion of adamantium particles of light stored within your sacred heart, and a reserve tucked away within your root chakra, the sacred fire seed Adam called Kundalini and portrayed as a coiled serpent. You have always had access to the sacred fire stored within your heart, however, you have to remember how to use your keys to the kingdom in order to ignite and effectively use the power source of divine light. The kundalini or serpent fire is a different matter, for you have to clear 51% of the disordered energy you have created in the past in order to tap into this reserve of metatronic full-spectrum light. Various great beings of light have carried the burden of earth and humanity for millions of years. However, it is now time for humanity to step to the fore and assume their bound duty. You must begin to access, use, and share the divine light with which you have endowed. There must always be an energy exchange. It is a universal law. The time has come for humanity to evolve into spiritual adulthood and to assume responsible positions as God-conscious beings of light. We have encouraged our messengers to assist you to remove the barriers and open the pathways of communication with ease and grace. We will strengthen your resolve. We will inspire you and set your hearts ablaze with the sacred fire of creation as you traverse the path of illumination. Know that love, light, and untold blessings are eternally radiated to each of you from the hearts of our Father, Mother, God. I am Archangel Michael. So be it.